Leo, welcome to this week's reading, April 24th to 30th, 2017, if you're new to my channel. Welcome. If you have not already subscribed, please do so by clicking the subscribe button below. I'll be using the Butterfly Oracle by Doreen for this week's reading. Uh, my son is celebrating his birthday this week, you know, so I'm wishing him so much love and abundance um, with his new luna um new is personal new year you know great changes unfold um one where we understand ourselves well and for us Taurians, you know um our qualities show more um some of us may seem a lot more stubborn to others but you know it's being in alignment with what's happening universally in the heavens so coming from a week where you really had to find the courage within to create and manifest or move away from certain energies or things that did not serve you in the past you know this week we're starting you off with spiritual growth keep the faith in your manifestations dietary change change the number one focus it's a constant in our lives every day it should be a, a day of great change we have self-care volunteer and support and um this week actually last week i started off you know my volunteer work again volunteering to the less fortunate the needy you know and the homeless so again find those avenues where you could volunteer and give back in whatever form or manner that you can at this point in time spiritual growth it's you rising to the next dimension you um connecting with the light essence within you you understand who you really are your angelic um, capabilities your potential you harnessing your multi-dimensional selves all aspects of yourself merging and you're truly one um, last week it was about religion and spirituality the highest you know something greater life greater than just this physical existence you know was in strong focus and it's a continuation this week it's like the heart of the matter you know letting the heart lead really connecting with your true needs and desires while being grounded within yourself the changes within you you know who you are you know coming from a week of transmuting the old again keep the faith in that unseen keep the faith that you are doing the inner work and healing all that no longer serves you we have um, Archangel um, Zadkiel who rules over the violet fire and he's asking us this week to blaze the violet fire to keep your energy field clear cleansed so that you can remain centered and grounded focused on your mission the highest calling something greater than you and me you know understanding that you could call on the energies of your spiritual team you know, so that you could see visions of the unknown, you know, things that you could only see in your dreams and manifest them in the physical, transmute the old, clear out all what no longer serves you one for, once and for all. Similar energies from last week, you know, forgiveness, changing, seeing things clearly, keeping all the good in focus, you know, really manifesting those changes so it's a mixture of energies for you this week um your spiritual side is coming forth you're rising to the next dimension okay um you're no longer on the same plane that you used to be on you know i'm feeling that you could see things clearly and differently um dietary change now you really need to clean up the temple okay detox no meat diet uh, um, so that you, your temple could be free and cleansed so that your team could connect to your energy field and communicate with you show you exactly where you're heading what you need to do next they're saying white light chakra activation astral travel 
for you this week you know dream journaling your dreams are one of your biggest teachers i know for me again i see things in my dreams you know they happen in the physical they happen in real time so really pay attention to the unconscious the hidden aspects of your dreams symbols you know journal um again dietary change self-care you clean out the inside and funny enough because my grand uncle was talking about taking those center pods so that he could uh have some proper bowel movement really cleaning out the insides nurturing yourself eating on time stick focus on staying healthy greens vegetables for others of you this is your connection with the earth okay going outdoors in nature a couple weeks ago the sun you know was bright and shiny you know so it's time wherever you live you know if you're in the caribbean it's always sunshine but for those of you who are in the bigger countries where you have to combat with different weather patternings now is the time where you could go outside i was you know in the parks last week sitting on the grass you know that was where i went to refuel and gain that much needed energy i could have felt all my bones just aching you know and like being outdoors like i was feeling breathless like when i'm indoors i can't breathe properly and just by being outdoors in nature you know i feel free so those of you who are experiencing those similar um situations this is what you need to do go outdoors clean out detox cleanse your insides and really form that connection with the earth again um walk barefoot on the on on the grass if you can you know um do what you need to do to form that connection with the earth know that the sun is always on the horizon but if you don't care for yourself you know you're not going to be able to sustain a, a full life a long life you know by being healthy you, you could um increase the amount of years that you own this plane for we have volunteer if you don't care for yourself you won't be able to volunteer be a volunteer for others you know giving back in whatever form or manner that you can at this point in time but again it's a chain reaction you give you automatically receive and in order to give you must give to thyself first you know you must give to the self first and being a mirrored reflection again what you give is what you receive you know i again started off volunteering and it's always a pleasure for me although it's tiring it's like working at a five-star restaurant and even the needy and the homeless will say okay i i don't want this it, lo it doesn't look appealing to me and send it back you know and just by understanding you know we're all one you know then we're more compassionate to serving you know and being kind and doing good deeds uh, we have the support card and um, they're saying those some of you still feel like you could do everything on your own stop fooling yourself ask for the help and assistance that you need you know recently had to go to my family to ask for help you know and this is not something that i normally do but in this situation it's really required for me you know to change things you know others of you are being asked to trust your intuition your internal guidance you already know what to do you know so by seeing things clearly and trusting in that and seeing you know um your team is communicating with you they're attaching to your energy field this week to lead you and guide you to creations beyond your wildest dreams i'm gonna go on to an angel and affirmation who could assist you with this week's manifestation uh, we have archangel joe fiel with forgiveness similar energies from last week forgiving the old transmuting it and moving on you know to um greater creations better things really moving on transmuting um again archangel zadkiel call on the violet fire this week um jophiel ask you to release the negative feelings of the past to let go of the substance of the pain that stops you from living a life of unlimited unlimited joy and love forgiveness does not mean you accept inappropriate behavior towards yourself it means that you no longer are prepared to carry the pain of reaction within you when you hold unforgiveness in a 
your heart, you may be stabbed by bitterness. Let your feel take this burden from you by chanting ha three times. Your heart chakra will feel charged and enlivened. Okay, forgiveness this week. Um, Jophiel Archangel. Jophiel, call on her energy to assist you in releasing the old. Okay, I'm going to go on to an angel in affirmation so that you can break those chains that have been restraining you by continuous repetition of affirmations. So, we have angel of listening and you can see the depiction is of the angel communicating with the the human or the child the child within you know internal communication with the self this week support support being there asking knowing do you listen to yourself and others do you take the time to listen to your inner voice do you ever meditate meditation will help you to hear your soul and your inner wisdom and attain balance you will finally recognize your true needs now is the time do not look for happiness outside you any longer your affirmation is in each moment i listen and hear my inner voice so you have that support this week um transmute the old so that your angels could connect to your energy field this is about religion and spiritual um spirit your spiritual growth rising to the next dimension while keeping the faith in that and seeing calling on your spiritual team for that guidance to connect to your energy field however you need to clean out detox old the temple clean out so you could hear your internal guidance through self-care you know you are able to volunteer support others or ask for that support that you need you know let me know how these messages resonate remember like share subscribe for personal reading with me check out the links in the description box below see you guys